Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and some very exciting news regarding the heroes in Star Wars Battlefront 2. PCGamer.com recently posted their interview with uh, DICE creative director Burned and he talked a lot about how the heroes will work in the next game and revealed some quite interesting details. The first thing he said is that they wanted to boost the hero's presence this time around, so they won't be restricted to a lucky few or the best players in the game. And he said that in the first game the heroes tended to drift towards players with the most kills or lucky players, because that's how it goes in these games. I'm not really sure what it means with the players with most kills, because it was basically purely luck in the last game, except for the fact that you could camp some spots for hero pickups, so I guess that's probably what he refers to. But then he followed up and said, We said no, we want to do something that makes it more likely that more players will experience that. So, cool idea, what happened then is, we had more heroes in the match at the same time, and that meant that the troopers were kind of becoming the fodder. As a single trooper, it's very difficult to stand up against a hero, much less two. We thought, how can we give you more tools so you're able to hold your own against a hero, at least for a certain time? And the best answer we could come up with was team play. How can you make team play more attractive? And the obvious answer is by classes. Because it's so natural that if you're playing classes, you look for your buddies, so you have a good mix of what you together feel comfortable playing. He suggested that this change will allow players to stand up to heroes by forming squads with friends and leveling up your trooper. In turn, heroes are no longer guaranteed to be all powerful game changers. He then went on to talk a little bit about the customization of the classes and how you can make your class kind of lean towards your playstyle, like if you enjoy using grenades. And this is very similar to what I talked about in my previous video about Dennis saying that you can customize your own classes. But what can we make from this article? Well, to me it actually sounds like in the next game there will be multiple heroes at the same time on the battlefront, but that they will be less powerful and that you have a bigger chance of actually standing up to them as a trooper. And I think this sounds like a good idea. The biggest problem is if they make the heroes too weak, it won't be fun playing them. However, I think a good solution for this would be to simply reduce their health, make them die a lot faster than in the current game, make sure we don't have a boss that can get 200 kills. Because in that case it means that more people will be able to spawn in as the heroes and feel powerful for a short period of time, but that if you are really well synergized with your team, you can actually take out a hero with like a 3 or 4 versus 1 situation. And that isn't really possible in the current game, because you have so much health that even if you're pretty bad with the hero, you will survive anyways and pretty much all abilities are one shot abilities as well. So I think I like this change, again it's very hard to say before we actually get to see some gameplay, but if we do get multiple heroes at the same time, it means that more people will be able to play heroes, but they still need to make them powerful enough that they are satisfying to use, but weak enough that you still have a chance to kill them as a trooper. A very fine balance there, but it really does seem like the heroes will not just be two heroes before 40 players, and then they will go around just wrecking everyone for like 2 minutes or 3 minutes until they die, but it's gonna be multiple heroes and you're gonna die faster. This also aligns with the fact that they have said that you use resources uh, to spawn in as heroes and other characters, so maybe we will have like an unlimited amount of heroes on the battlefront? I don't think that's the case, they will probably have some cap, but considering if they do use this resource system that he mentioned in another interview, it does make sense that you can have at least more than one at a time, because otherwise you're just gonna sit there and wait until that next hero dies before you can spawn in, and everyone will just be sitting there ready to click that spawn button, which doesn't really make sense to me. So again, I think this can turn out to be a pretty good update to the game. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the uh, hero system and how you want it to be. Does this sound good? Does it sound bad? I'm really curious to hear. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the force be with you.